For those who are counting, there are 13 days officially remaining in this administration. But this morning, there are calls for President Trump to once again be impeached or, and we do not say this lightly, for the cabinet to invoke the 25th Amendment, removing him from office because he is unfit. According to our sources, the president, for his part, is still, quote, clueless about how outraged and I would add heartsick Americans were as they watched the violence unfold yesterday. That reporting comes from our CBS News White House team talking not to the president's enemies, but to his allies. Ben Tracy is at the White House for us. Ben, good morning to you. This talk of removing the president from power prematurely, how likely is it? Well, Tony, good morning. CBS News has learned that members of the cabinet are discussing the 25th Amendment, but have not formally presented anything to Vice President Pence yet about removing President Trump from office. Now, President Trump watched all of this chaos at the Capitol unfold on television here at the White House yesterday, and he's taking no responsibility for any of it. You have to go home now. We have to have peace. Nearly three hours after his supporters stormed the Capitol, President Trump finally released a one-minute-long video telling them to go home, but also making it clear how he really feels about the violent mob. We love you. You're very special. He then justified their actions, saying the these things happen when a sacred landslide election victory is so unceremoniously and viciously stripped away. Twitter locked the president's account for 12 hours and is threatening to permanently ban him. I call on President Trump to go on national television now. As hours of chaos pass without President Trump speaking, President-elect Biden president called on him to be a leader. At their best, the words of a president can inspire. At their worst, they can incite. All four living former presidents expressed their outrage. George W. Bush called the attack on the Capitol insurrection, saying in a statement, I am appalled by the reckless behavior of some political leaders since the election. This is how election results are disputed in a banana republic, not our democratic republic. President Trump's former defense secretary, General James Mattis, directly blamed him for the violence, predicting Mr. Trump will deservedly be left a man without a country. The president is also now completely at odds with Vice President Pence. Madam Speaker, members of Congress. Attacking him for following the Constitution and refusing to try to overturn the election. I hope he doesn't listen to the rhinos and the stupid people that he's listening to. Now, several White House aides have resigned overnight, including the president's deputy national security advisor, Matt Pottinger, and the first lady's chief of staff and former White House press secretary, Stephanie Grisham, who were told resigned in protest. Now, a senior White House official tells CBS News that they feel the administration's legacy has been tarnished by what happened at the Capitol. Tony. Ben, thank you very much.